figured you probably wondered where I've been, maybe. Or maybe you just haven't even noticed, I don't know. But either way, I thought I would give an update about where I've been, what's been going on. Um, so long story short, my insurance decided last minute they weren't gonna cover my surgery. Um, they had said originally that I qualified due to some medical stuff and my weight. They then changed it and said that my weight actually was not high enough. So this was um, definitely hard news to take. It hit me pretty hard. So, sorry, I'm really upset. So I just got a message from my care coordinator through the weight loss center I go to and they denied my surgery. Sorry, I'm trying to compose myself. So, my insurance came back and said that they couldn't approve my surgery because now I don't, I don't have a big, I don't have a high enough BMI. And when I, when I initially started this process, they had told me that my BMI was high enough and I just needed to complete the things on my list and I would be good to go. Um, now they're saying they want my BMI to be a whole nine points or whatever higher. And I have to stay at that for a year. So I don't really know what to do at this point. I feel pretty, pretty hopeless to be honest. I don't know. It's pretty upsetting. I hadn't seen it coming. Right? So it just completely rocked my world. But that said, the silver lining in that is in that moment when I found out that information, my first thought was, I will never be able to have another kid because I just haven't been a health in a healthy place to have another pregnancy. My first pregnancy was very hard and ended up extremely dangerous and high risk at the end. Um, and I can go into that in a separate video if anyone's interested in my pregnancy, but it was very clear that it was related to my weight. And I knew that the next time I had a kid, I could not allow myself to be at um, a high weight. And in that moment, I realized, you know what? I have to do something. Like something has to change. And as much as it would have been amazing to have that tool, because really at the end of the day, that's all it was. I still have to do the work. And although it would have been great to have that tool, it wasn't an option for me. And so I began the next step in my journey. So the next thing that I did was actually meet with a bariatric specialist and the doctor that I met with actually specializes in PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And she used to be a OBGYN and then switched over into weight loss. And it was great meeting with her. She was really able to understand my weight concerns and my weight problems um, due to my PCOS, which was wonderful. And I explained to her how, you know, I, I constantly feel hungry. Like I will eat and within 15, 20 minutes, I'm starving. And not even like I'm mentally hungry, like my stomach is rumbling in pain, I'm hungry. So to counteract that, she went ahead and prescribed me, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, I can't remember the name, Fen Fentamine? Fen I think it's Fentamine, I'll put it here. But this medication basically speeds your heart rate up and then it also decreases hunger. So my energy level is up, but I'm not hungry. And um, I, if I eat too much, I become very uncomfortable. I get very sick feeling. So in a way it almost mimics what would have happened with a vertical sleeve gastectomy, gastectomy where I'm not as hungry and um, overeating definitely caused some, some uncomfortable stomach problems. So I started that two weeks ago. Uh, the reason that the medication, doctors do still prescribe it, but it is not as commonly prescribed as it used to be. It is, it can have some damaging effects. And so every month I have to go in and make sure my blood pressure is good, my heart is good. I can only be on it for 12 weeks max. But when I had gone in and I got weighed, at that point I had already started some lifestyle changes. Just within the week, 
between the call from the clinic saying I wasn't qualified to that appointment. It was just one week, but I'd already made some pretty big eating changes and also started CrossFit, which I will get into that later in the video. So I'd lost about three pounds in one week on my own. And so she felt comfortable prescribing that to me, knowing that I was actively making these changes because if I was just going to take this medication, but continue the lifestyle I was living, it, it wouldn't have done anything. And it, the benefits wouldn't have outweighed the risk basically. So I started fentamine. The first three days were insane. Um, definitely <laughs> could feel that it was completely changing everything about my body. But since then it's kind of calmed down. I can do a whole separate video on that medication if you would like to see that. But it has helped. I'm now down almost 10 pounds in two weeks. And it def I give a huge, huge portion of that to the fact that I'm just not as hungry. Um, right now I am doing both Weight Watchers and counting macros. So I'm tracking twice in two different apps. And I'm making sure that my I'm doing low carbs. So I make sure my carb percentage is down, but my protein percentage is up. So low carb, high protein. Um, part of that decision is because I've recently started CrossFit. And although I'm only doing very small amounts of it right now, uh, I definitely want to keep my protein up so that I can build some muscle. Um, I'm really not as worried about the scale with losing weight this time as I am just being in a healthy physical place in order for me to have another baby. So building muscle is definitely something I'm working on. So CrossFit. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to do CrossFit. I think women that do CrossFit are so badass, but I've always been nervous because being a bigger girl, I was nervous to go into a gym and work out next to all of these just built strong individuals. And I found a gym that is all women. So it's a women's only CrossFit gym. And going through their Instagram, there was women of all sizes, all ages, um, all places in their physical journey. So I decided to go with that option. So I went to my first class and I thought I was going to die. It was really hard, um, but I loved it. The adrenaline that I got after it and just this feeling of empowerment and strength it just can't be beat. And so I've now gone four times. Uh, I've been going every Friday in the morning. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I will insert a video right here of me doing CrossFit. This is from my more today um, at the gym. Obviously, I'm not nearly as good as a lot of people. Um, at this point in class, everyone was doing box jumps. I am not at that that point yet, so I was doing um, weight stacks, but definitely working on on improving and every time I go in I can tell I'm getting a little bit stronger and then on Monday I do at home CrossFit and on Wednesday I do at home CrossFit um, so Friday is definitely my harder workout than Monday and Wednesday but I'm still trying to stay active during the week if I can't get a full high intensity workout done then I try to walk so right now it's snowmageddon outside but I will try and walk around the neighborhood or do the stairs up and down, do something to get my heart rate up so I'm not just sitting around. Um, I've also noticed that since I picked up my activity, I am not as hungry. That probably is a no duh, but definitely something that has helped as well. So that's a little update about where I've been. I will get a brace update, braces update video um, uploaded soon. And until next time, grab your hot or iced coffee, make sure to subscribe, like this video, ring the notification bell.